Luminous Star. Welcome to my channel, Luminous Star. But you guys and girls who are current subscribers, you already know what's coming. Mwah. Thank you so much for your subscription and thank you for the support and keeping this channel So when you decide you're going to play the game, with the narcissist and cousin personality, first of all, be forewarned. You are playing a very dangerous game that is designed to ensure that he or she wins. Let's move forward. The predatory nature is one that hunts for sport consistently in order to thrive and maintain survival. There is no time to waste upon those that the narcissist has not deemed prime for source supply due to having a wide selection of other targeted prey to choose from. The narcissist in the cluster personality, they are sizing up all potential source supply or targeted prey. They are sizing them up because they have to survive. That false self image must survive and rule the end of their day. So when the narcissist uses particular key words and phrases to keep others in a sunken place, he or she has pulled out a abracadabra from their trick bag. In other words, it's a mind game. They have studied you. They have studied the targeted prey. They study and continue to study source supply that they currently have in order to keep everybody under the targeted prey's abracadabra in order to keep them in a sunken place. So once a person begins to critically think then it's game over for the narcissist and it's a game changer for him or her. Let's move forward. Tactics that narcissists use to keep one in a sunken place, fear, distraction, influence, deception, character assassination or smear campaigns. So let's go to fear first. The narcissist in the close of personality, they operate or function from a place of fear. This is also one of the emotions that he or she has no problem expressing or feeling. It's jealousy, hatred, and anger. So narcissists can go from zero to 100 when it comes to those four emotions. However, when it comes to fear, the narcissist likes to influence or induce or provoke fear in others in order to keep them in the sunken place. Distraction. They distract by emotionally manipulating others. That's a distraction because one minute they act like they love you and care for you. The next, it's a whole different story. You're asking yourself, does this person really love me? Do they really care? See, that's a mind game, but they do it via your emotions. So the narcissist and the cussy personality, they play mind games, but they usually use a person's emotions to do it. So this is why the emotional IQ of a person or a targeted prey is crucial in order for the narcissist or the cluster personality to decide, is this person a person that I will disregard or devalue? Or is this a person that I will go ahead and use for source supply? Another tactic that they use is influence. So they are influencing others, usually via emotional manipulation. Gaslighting, which is another mind game. So when they are influencing others, they are using emotional manipulation to do so. So when a person is influenced by the narcissist, he or she more than likely is being tugged at the heart, so to speak, by the narcissist. That will keep him or her in a sunken place. So when the narcissist influences one, not only to fear, but to also love or care for him or her, see, that's possible. See, the narcissist and the cluster personality studies a person's IQ. So if a person has a higher IQ, such as an empath, they have no problem expressing joy, gratitude, and love. They have no problem nourishing others in a relationship. See, the empath is one that may behave codependently. Therefore, the narcissist can easily influence a person who has a higher emotional IQ. Unfortunately, some who have a higher IQ, well, emotional IQ, he or she is less likely to critically think when the narcissist and cluster personality begins to pull shenanigans.
because they are in their emotions and they are also in their egos. So when the narcissist influences others, the narcissist is absolutely considering their emotional IQ or the targeted praise emotional IQ to use against him or her, especially if this is an empath. Empaths are some of the most beautiful people on the planet. Unfortunately, when it comes to narcissists, they exploit empaths' ability to express love, gratitude, and so on and so forth. The very traits that show that he or she has a high emotional IQ, the narcissist is salivating at that point. Okay, so they're going to test the targeted prey to see how far they can go. The next thing that the narcissist uses for a tactic is deception. Emotional manipulation goes right into deception. Deception is also used in order to care to assassinate and to smear campaign the targeted prey. Or they are angry with the targeted prey, they will use care to assassination or smear campaigns. Okay, actually, sometimes they do both. So the narcissist in the cost of personality, when they use deception as a tactic, of course, they're going to tug at the person's heart in order to do so. One minute, the narcissist may tell you a half truth. The next minute, they may totally fabricate what it's, they just told you. However, when the narcissist in the cluster personality tells you a half truth, it is to also supply the false self-image. The narcissist in the cluster personality, they're so busy trying to make themselves look good, they will do it at other people's expenses. Character assassination or smear campaigns. This is another tactic that the narcissist and the closest personality will use to keep a person in a sunken state. See, the narcissist uses the character assassination in the smear campaign when he or she is trying to convince other people that the targeted prey is a very unfavorable person or a very undesirable person who has the characteristics as a narcissist even though he or she may be an empath. This person more than likely is a person who does not have any issue with feeling and expressing emotions. However, the narcissist, they will pull out an abracadabra from their trick bag and they will convince others that this person, the targeted prey, is a person who has a very unfavorable character. They are not to be trusted. They are not desirable. They are inferior some way or somehow. So the narcissist will absolutely use the smear campaign and or the character assassination as a tactic for source supply and to keep one in a sunken place. A person who is being character assassinated may absolutely be going under a identity crisis. He or she may be experiencing low self-esteem they may not have a lot of confidence. The closest personality is personally attacking his or her character. So character assassination is a very dangerous and serious tactic, which often leaves people devastated, if not traumatized. So the narcissist and the closest personality, all the while that they are using the smear campaign and or character assassination as a tactic, the targeted prey is usually a person who is already experiencing low self-esteem, a lack of confidence, and an identity crisis because they really don't have a strong sense of themselves. And the narcissist has studied the person to the point where they know this about him or her. This will keep the targeted prey in a sunken place. Who do we have here? The false self-image. A cocktail of unmerited fears, unresolved childhood trauma, and emotional IQ is how narcissists and those with a closer personality tend to keep others within a sunken place. So, again, the false self-image of the narcissist is a beast, okay? They must remain relevant and they must survive. It is the false self-image that's running the show. Particular shenanigans and or tactics 
in order to remain relevant. So this is why they have a cocktail of unmerited fears, unresolved childhood trauma, and emotional IQs that they use against the targeted prey in order to keep him or her in a sunken place. And while they are in a sunken place, the targeted prey and the current source supply, they have no idea. It is the false self image that's behind the entire shenanigan because the false self image must survive. The cluster B personality in the narcissist has a beast on their back called the false self image. He or she will perform many unfavorable and undesirable things in order to keep that false self image relevant. So all of the shenanigans and tactics that the narcissist will use often keeps one in a sunken place because the false self image is absolutely the one running the whole show. Let's move forward. Tools. Research the subconscious mind and how it functions. Next tool. Maintain your strong support base in order to continue to thrive forward. Last tool. Reclaim your life back by first acknowledging that your life has purpose. First tool. Research the subconscious mind and how it functions. A lot of us have no idea how our subconscious mind really is running the show when it comes to our lives. This is where our inner child who has been possibly wounded lives. That is in the subconscious mind. Our inner child runs the show. A lot of us don't even realize it. When there's an unresolved childhood trauma and when there's unresolved issues from our past, well, the subconscious mind is running a particular program and the inner wounded child is running the show. So when it comes down to us making choices of who to become romantically involved with, guess what? Due to the programming and the subconscious mind, the inner wounded child is the one who chooses who you will become romantically involved with. Ever wonder why you have repeated Becoming romantically involved with narcissists and cluster personalities? Well, that's why. Because your inner wounded child who has been neglected is running the show via the programming that's in your subconscious mind. We tend to stick with what's familiar. And this is where the subconscious mind comes in. The subconscious mind has particular programs that are familiar to us. So we continue to run that program until we awaken and realize that, wow, this program doesn't really work for me. It's an old program. Time to delete it and replace it. So when a person decides to research and study the subconscious mind, it's a game changer. And it also ensures that he or she more than likely will not be placed in a sunken state when the narcissist and or the closer personality starts to pull shenanigans. Second tool, maintain your strong support base in order to continue to thrive forward. That's self-explanatory. You're going to need a support base. I know I do. And I have started my support base quite some time ago. And I'm telling you, it's a game changer. Trying to figure all of this out alone and being isolated will not work very well for you. And it is not a game changer. If anything, it will seriously interrupt your thriving forward. It will hinder your healing process. So maintain your strong support base in order to thrive forward. No one on the planet is a one man or one woman show. Last tool, reclaim your life back by first acknowledging that your life has purpose. Absolutely. You have ever heard people ask, well, what is my purpose in life? I would say start there by claiming that your life has purpose. So acknowledge that your life has purpose. What is my purpose in life? My opinion is that that's the best way to answer that question. It's just acknowledging that your life has purpose. And you can go from there. So reclaim your life back by first acknowledging that your life has purpose. You've gone through a whole lot with the narcissist and cluster personality or due to the narcissist and cluster personality. You've experienced possibly trauma and pain frustration, anger, 
you've been uncomfortable for a long time. So when you reclaim your life by acknowledging your life has purpose, that's a very powerful statement. And more than likely, you will feel it to your core. You just have to remember, your life absolutely does have purpose. You're not here by accident. The narcissist and inclusive personality may have kept you in a sunken place by convincing you that you don't count, that you are inferior. Well, I'm here to tell you that that's not true. Acknowledge that your life has purpose, because it does. References and resources. Please check out the references and resources in the description box below.